hi guys welcome and welcome back again to my channel today we're making sakma rice sakma rice is nigerian concussion rice made with just a few ingredients very delicious and flavorful recipe and this is made with vegetable oil not palm oil and this is best enjoyed on a cold rainy day for breakfast or cold rainy day for dinner it's so enjoyable so if you're interested in this recipe keep watching and please don't forget to like the video and also share with your friends and family all right so to begin with first you want to place a pot of water on the heat now go ahead and wash your rice transfer into the pot of water cover and bring this to a boil for just two minutes so after power boiling the rice i'm going to transfer to a strainer then I will rinse thoroughly with cold water. If you're thinking of a budget meal this weekend, something very quick and easy to make, when I grab this recipe, I tell you, you will enjoy it. So good and delicious. And once I'm done rinsing the rice, I'm gonna set aside, and here I have all the things I'm gonna be adding to this recipe. I have one bell pepper. I'm just going to remove the seed, as well as the seed from the tomato, and I also have two habanero and here I have my onion i'm just going to peel the onions and then clean the sink just clean up your kitchen and now i'm going to slice this into tiny cubes just to help the blender you know to make it easy for the blender to chop this you can slice and use this the way it is but i just love to blend it a little bit you know rough blending that's what we are going to be doing so after blending i will transfer to a bowl and then i will set aside and for the fish, you can use mackerel, any fish of your choice. So here I have this melusa fish, which is fillet. So I will just dice that into cubes and then I will set aside. Next, I'm gonna dice some onions. And guys, this rice needs lots of onions because if you want to enjoy rice, guys, you need lots of onion in your rice. All right, so after dicing the onions, I'm gonna set aside. And next, I will place a pot on the heat drizzle with some oil and once the oil is nice and hot we're going to transfer the chopped onions and because i love flavor i'm going to add some curry and thyme which is totally optional and then i went in with some salt i'm going to stir fry this for two minutes i'm not going to be overcooking the onion because we need the onion to surface in the rice even after cooking so after two minutes i went in with a blended pepper mix i'm just going to let this cook for like four minutes all right so after four minutes we're going to go in with some seasoning powder and stir fry this for a few seconds and after a few seconds we're going to transfer the fish so just add your fish at this point and if you want to add crayfish powder add it at this point as well but for me i'm not going to be adding any crayfish to this recipe so i just stir that to combine and then i went in with some water test for salt and i needed more salt so i'm going to go in with some salt and now transfer the rice and mix everything to combine nicely and guys there is no sakma rice without eggs and these eggs must not be cooked separately you have to add it on top of the rice cook it inside the rice so i'm going to add some eggs which are raw eggs at this point so just wash your egg and add it on top of the rice cover and allow this to cook let it cook until the water is completely dry allow the water to dry and allow the rice to burn guys you know sakma rice needs to have that bottom pot you know now and don't forget to wash this down with some juice and guys this is our sakma rice nicely and beautifully prepared looking so delicious it's very easy this is a quick recipe on a lazy day so thank you so much for watching and i'll be seeing you in my next video cheers